Jay inspires youth to look around and see the real life application of STEM, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics in their daily lives. Science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. STEM. Say again, please. Uh, here's the way we've had a problem. Did you hear that? We've got a problem. It's a big one. We're in a STEM crisis, and everyone thinks that math and science are boring. Fortunately, a few years ago, I came across what I believe to be the solution to this problem. I was at my first engineering conference, a sophomore in college, mechanical engineering student, ready to learn. I entered the convention center, thousands of other aspiring engineers. I turned the corner, whoa, it's Lucky Charms. What is Lucky the Leprechaun doing at a professional engineering conference? Is this a prank? As I looked around for cameras, I realized that General Mills, the food company, was giving a workshop. Lucky the Leprechaun taught me two very important things. First, cereal doesn't grow on trees. That's why food companies need engineers. And more importantly, that adults are making several very big mistakes that are keeping the youth from excelling in the areas of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. The most critical of these mistakes is that every day we fail to connect math and science to fun, to something that the youth understand, can relate to, and enjoy. That's why we're in a STEM crisis, because there's no passion for math and science. So how do we solve the STEM crisis? We instill that passion amongst the youth at an early age by making math and science we can make math and science exciting. Yes, this exciting. <laughs> Boys and girls, I want you to be as excited about math and science as that kid is. <laughs> He's pumped. And you can be too. It's possible. Don't tell me that physics is too hard and boring when your high score on the video game Angry Birds is astronomically higher than mine. Boys and girls, every level of Angry Birds is a physics test. And you're getting an A plus on that test. But every day we fail to make that connection for you. We lose an opportunity to develop your scientific vocabulary and passion for physics. Did you know that you could learn to code and design your own level of Angry Birds? Or even a totally new type of video game? Tell your teacher that you'll do an extra homework problem if it's an Angry Birds one. <laughs> we have the power to make that exciting. Isaac Newton would have loved Angry Birds. He would have thought it was exciting because he wouldn't have had to spend so many hours waiting under apple trees for apples to fall in order to come up with his findings. You may or may not know who Steve Jobs was, or that Apple is an innovative company. But I can guarantee that you know who these little yellow guys are, and that they love bananas. Mmm, <laughs> banana. <laughs> the minions from the movie Despicable Me are manufacturing engineers. They manufacture Gru's line of jams and jellies. Wouldn't it be cool to have your own manufacturing company? What would you manufacture? We all love the minions, and we can all love math and science. Every day, you're exposed to cool cartoons, sports, movies, fun ways that you can learn more about math and science, but you just don't know that it's there. We need to help you make that connection. We need to show you that with math and science, you can accomplish anything. You have a whole lot of fun along the way, and we'll all be able to continue enjoying our Lucky Charms cereal. Boys and girls, the power of math and science can make you a superhero. <laughs> Tony Stark, the Iron Man, 
is no, bio, is no different biologically from you. Tony wasn't born with superpowers. He was an electrical and mechanical engineer that designed the Iron Man suit to save his life and protect the world from evil. Like Tony, you are only limited in power by the restrictions that you place on your engineering minds. Boys and girls, we need you to excel in math and science. Because if you do, you can become the Iron Men and women of today's world. The world's top doctors, saving thousands of lives. And maybe even the first person to finally bring us flying cars to the cities of the world. I've been waiting for, since 2000 for those. With math and science, the sky is not your limit. What problems do you want to solve? One of you has the power to provide clean energy to the entire world. One of you has the power to cure cancer. Together you have the power to solve any problem and engineer a much more beautiful and safer world for all to enjoy. Science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, STEM. The power is yours.